Welcome into another Harmonious at Lunch. I am so pumped up for today's conversation. We're talking about a topic that I personally love talking about, and that is three steps to fuel your body to propel your business. Now, at What If, you know we talk about the Harmonious Business Architecture. That is the context for how to see and filter information and run your business, but that's one leg of the stool. The other two legs our body and mind. So we're going to dive into the inspire spoke of our architecture. That is the leadership. You as a business owner, you need to fuel your body and your mind the right way. And we're going to dive in. So before we get there and before we get to our amazing guests, just a recap of what we have going on at What If and a reminder, if you want to set yourself up for business success in 2024 and beyond, I want you to go to this website right on the screen, whatif.com slash navigate. We are hosting a five-day boot camp coming up immersive live on screen one hour a day where we're going to build the foundation of your business so it is rock solid and you can build and scale effectively without pulling your hair out as an entrepreneur wouldn't we all love that now enough about me enough about us let's get to our amazing guest here i would like to welcome dara to the show dara so excited to have you here welcome thanks so much brandon for inviting me on your podcast i'm super excited to be here yeah, thank you. This is so cool. So tell me before we dive in, where do you want to start? I, how did you get into this side of, of business? So I have a lifetime career as a teacher and a school principal. And throughout my entire career um, in education, I've always had little side gigs. I've always enjoyed health and wellness. I've studied nutrition and wellness you know, all these years. And I retired about a year ago and I knew I wanted to continue to be of service to others. And this just kind of morphed into, you know, helping entrepreneurs really understand um, another, like, like you said, another tool in their toolbox that they can use to really propel themselves. That's amazing. So you're in a totally unrelated field for your entire career. You, you stumble on this what have you sort of learned over the past year or so about how this can apply to uh, business and entrepreneurship? So it really, I, I always, um, for years, wanted to eat clean, eat healthy. And I knew that as an entrepreneur, we're juggling all kinds of uh, activities. Uh, many entrepreneurs are doing it as a part-time thing. So we have a full-time job, we have families, we have kids, we have households, all of that. And how do you actually manage juggling all of those? Well, it really starts with fueling your body with the right kind of food. That's where you get the energy. And I'm all about helping people like really understand what clean eating is, Brandon. Like it's, it's really pretty simple. It's just eating foods that come naturally from nature, you know, fruits, vegetables, lean meats, green, uh, grains, legumes. Um, if the food you're eating comes in a box or a bag, you better read the label and see if there's a lot of words in there that you can't read, that you just don't know what they are. You probably want to reconsider and, you know, um, really think about what you're putting in your body. What, think about this. Would you take little bottles of uh, chemicals and sprinkle them on your food <laughs> before you sit down to eat? We no. do. We do it every single day. There's so much in our food sources today that, um, yeah, and we're not really aware. So I really like to bring this awareness to people, especially to entrepreneurs, because we are hard on our bodies. We're, we, uh, we push ourselves to the max and we need to fuel ourselves. Um, effectively to do that. Yeah, I completely agree. And that's why what if we always say it's it's the three legged stool, mind, body, business, you, you can't have an optimized business if your body and mind are lacking or pushed to the side. So I'm curious, this is kind of unrelated. But have you seen on social media, the challenge going around? I think it's called like the 50 ingredient challenge where you can only have a maximum of 50 different ingredients for the day. And oh, wow. the back of these food labels, there's some that you exceed the 50 in in one food. Yeah, it's good. It's crazy, right? It's yeah. unbelievable. All right. So then let's dive in. So let's start at the beginning of, of kind of your, your client journey, I guess. When people come to you, what are they what are they seeking when when they come to to you in particular? 
Right. Typically, they're trying to understand why they feel so sluggish, why, you know, things maybe aren't digesting well, or a lot of people come to me because they're struggling with their weight. And, you know, that's another piece of it. But um, a lot of times it is just the energy. I uh, I turned 65 yesterday. I have Happy more birthday. energy. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I have more energy than, you know, a lot of people that are 10, 20 years younger than me. And it really, it, it stems from the way I, I feed myself and the way I move myself and mindset. Mindset's important too. Mm, absolutely. So, okay. So then, well, speaking of how people come and find you and, and want to work with you, I want to put your uh, a link to work with you on the screen. So if any of this resonates with you, if you're tired, sluggish, overweight, and you need more energy, I, I want you to book a call at ditchsession.com. You can um, figure out how maybe you could work with Dara too and get some more energy in your life. So, all right, they've they they've found you. They have identified this problem in their life. Um, before we get into the three steps a little bit, what do you need to do to work with someone to maybe shift that mindset and say, okay, what I'm doing is wrong? Um, or maybe that just realize that there's a better way out there to fuel their bodies. Yeah. So I, I really like to sit down with people, figure out what is it that um, they are eating? You know, let's get a general idea of what their uh, food looks like. And that's where we start. And if people are struggling with, because a lot of people don't know how to cook. And I help with that too. I help make it super simple. I'm not about making complex meals at all. I'm all about keeping it as simple as possible because again, as entrepreneurs, we don't have a lot of time. I throw meals together in 20 minutes or less and I show people how to do that as well. And all clean food, you know, nothing, um, yeah, just clean food mm -hmm. and, and making it taste good and, and making it, you know, full of uh, nutrients so that you have, like I said, the energy to uh, do what you need to do. Yeah, I think that's key too, because we always see like the easy foods, right? Whether it's eating fast food or if something comes in a box and you just have to add water and mm -hmm. that's, that's the 20 minute meal. So can you give me like an idea of what a 20 minute meal could even look like that's healthy? Uh, sure. A stir fry is super simple. You know, you chop up a bunch of vegetables, a little bit of meat, you, you stir fry that literally, you can stir fry that literally in 20 minutes, you know, including the chopping time, because you cut the meat up small, you cut the veggies up small. And, you know, you throw some, you know, good sauce on there, a little soy sauce, some ginger, some garlic, and you've got a great meal. And I like to teach people how to batch cook, like rice is something that I cook in my slow cooker, but I cook enough for a couple of meals. So I don't have to cook it every day. And rice keeps fine for a week in the refrigerator. So you don't have to eat it all at once. So I have a bunch of hacks like that, that I love to just share with people. That's awesome. Well, if you're into hacks around your cooking, book a session, <laughs> see how this can, you can leverage this in your life to eat clean. So then, all right, let's transition. Let's, let's dive in if we can. Uh, what are the, what are the three steps you have for us to, to optimize our body? So the three steps really first is eat clean. Like I talked about, right? The second one is to move your body. Again, as entrepreneurs, we're often sitting in front of our computers way too long and we need to just, <laughs> we need to really get up like every hour, just move a little bit, you know, get out of the, your office and just, you know, um, take a quick five minute walk just to get something going. And I, I highly recommend, you know, 30 minutes a day to do some kind of purposeful mute movement, whether it's walking, whether it's dancing, whether it's yoga, it doesn't really matter what it is. It's just our bodies are meant to move. And it's uh, critically important, especially as we age, to keep our bodies moving. Because if we don't, you know, we're going to get muscle atrophy and stuff like that. We just need to um, get up, stretch a little bit, you know, even if you just, you know, do a couple of jumping jacks, uh, you know, um, just get yourself moving at least every hour. I have a nice watch. It reminds me every hour, you know, stand up. <laughs> it's really helpful. And the third thing is mindset, which is so important. Um, as entrepreneurs, we're always studying, you know, mindset, but around eating healthy, like we are bombarded, Brandon, with, uh, you know, advertisements for fast food, like you said, and ooey gooey desserts and all that kind of stuff. And so include in your mindset, a little work on, you know, reminding yourself that you want to fuel yourself with 
good, healthy, nutritious foods. Um, you know, it's one of my affirmations that I read, you know, every day because, you know, we often have affirmations that, you know, I'm working to make a hundred thousand dollars a year or whatever it is we're doing in our business, but throw a, a healthy, um, healthy body, healthy food, move my body kind of affirmation in there as well. Yeah. Let's, let's harp on that because it is impossible to grow a business if your body and your mind are not in top shape. I, and that's, that's something interesting too, that I think we forget as small business owners, as entrepreneurs, if you look at the, the fortune 100 CEOs, COOs, the C-suite, I, it would probably be very hard to find people who are not in shape. And Absolutely. It, if we just read between the lines there a little bit, you know, they're probably making a lot more than most of us. There might be some truth to what you're saying here, I think. So, so all right, let's put that aside because we know it's true. Let's let's dive in. What? How quickly can someone start seeing results in their energy when they start to do all these things? They start to eat clean. They start to move and, and really work on their mindset. What's the outcome and, and the outlook of working with you? Honestly, if you eat clean in a a few days a week, you are going to be amazed at the amount of energy you have. If you can completely eliminate or significantly reduce the amount of highly processed foods that you eat, you will see a difference right away. It's, it's pretty remarkable. Hmm. That's, that's really interesting to hear because I think a lot of the times when, when we get held back, um, it's because we think it's too hard or, or that, that future goal is too far away to, you know, why bother starting? So the fact that you can actually see results quickly, that should be encouraging to a lot of people. What does hold people back from, from switching to a lifestyle like this? A lot of people feel that it's too hard. You know, it's too hard to prepare meals like this. Also, we think that healthy foods aren't going to taste good. I mean, are there advertisements out there advertising how tasty a fresh um, apple tastes or, you know, juicy orange or anything like that, right? Do you eat mangoes? Mangoes are absolutely amazing, full of sweetness, full of goodness. But, there, you know, that kind of advertising is not out there, Brandon. The What's being advertised is the um, the fast food industry is being advertised in the meals. That, like you said, you can pop it in the microwave and, you know, a minute later, you've got a hot meal. But, oh, my gosh. Uh, talk about ingredients. There's a you know a ton of ingredients that you don't really want in there. Yeah, I'm sure. And I, you know, I personally stay away from that stuff, but I, I do occasionally just flip the box over for fun. Yeah. A little scary to look at. It is a um, little scary. <laughs> so all right. Well, this is this is exciting because I think I think that's what holds a lot of people back. Like I said, is is the fear of what does it look like? What does it take? So then if you could walk me through. A, a perfect week. What would it really take to, you know, tighten the screws on this and and get moving? What does it look like from meal prep to you know day of meal prep and and all that? What's really involved with eating clean and 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 doing this sort of lifestyle? Right. It really starts with you know looking in your cabinets and and start get rid of all of those foods that are you know the highly processed foods and and doing a little planning i like to do a little planning on the weekends i teach people how to you know kind of plan out your week um so you have a general idea some people are very specific and they want you know to know exactly what they're going to eat every day other people i'm a little more free like i have an idea of you know the foods i'm going to eat and then make sure you're shopping you know make yourself a grocery list that's that's important and it sounds like, oh my gosh, this is going to take too much time. But in reality, over the course of the week, you're going to save time. If you know, you know, on um, Sunday, you take a little time, plan out your recipes, plan out your shopping, go shopping. It might take a couple hours, but then during the week, you don't have to stop and wonder, oh my gosh, what am I going to make for dinner tonight? What am I going to, you know, make tomorrow night, whatever, or oh, I'll just pull in and, you know, order a pizza, you know, <laughs> which... On occasion is fine. You know, on occasion, if we want to have something like that, I, I still love pizza and once in a while I will, you know, but I would say 95% of the time I cook at home, I eat at home, I feed my family, you know, from home. And once you, it, it does, I'll be honest, it's going to take a little bit to, to get into the routine of that, it, especially if you're not someone who's accustomed to cooking, but it's not that difficult and it's really 
um, for people who go to work, who go to a job, if you bring some of your leftover dinner, you know, and, and have that as your lunch, um, it, it's just as easy to make a large dinner as it is to make a small dinner. So make it a little bigger and then you have leftovers for the next day. You take that for your for your lunch rather than ordering out or running, you know, through the drive-thrus or getting even the deli sandwiches. My gosh, those sandwiches are like huge, right? And <laughs> full of um again, highly processed meats and you know, even like the rolls, even those wraps, if you look at them, you know, sometimes we think wraps are so nutritious and healthy, but yeah, there's a lot of extra stuff in there we don't necessarily need as well. Yeah, we could, you know, I, I've been living this way for a couple of years now. We could really go down the rabbit hole about what's <laughs> what's in your food. I don't want to scare anybody on this episode, so we won't do that. But yeah, read some labels. That's the yeah. moral of the story. So, all right, you hit on something that, that was super important to entrepreneurs, saving time. We love that. We love being more efficient with our time. The other side of that is is saving money. I went to the grocery store this morning. I had to go to the bank first to take out a third mortgage because <laughs> groceries are so expensive. Crazy. Is eating clean and, and living this lifestyle more or less expensive than the way we traditionally eat? It's actually less expensive. And, and you may not think so, but you know what? If you think about a bag of chips, okay, the, what they're like four or $5 now, right? For a bag of chips. There's zero nutritional value in there. If you think about it, there really isn't anything. Um, and you just threw five dollars away. You could buy a whole bag of potatoes, you know, for five or six dollars and you can cook up potatoes if you want. There's a way you can actually make chips in the microwave. Um, <laughs> you know, you can make yourself some crispy chips or, you know, even if you made some chips at home or whatever. But a lot of that kind of fast food, you think that it's saving you money. But in the long run, I eat a lot of beans as well because I don't always eat meat. And, you know, those are really inexpensive. Whole grains are very inexpensive when it comes to, you know, foods. Um, and and even frozen vegetables are fine. Uh, fresh vegetables, especially when they're in season, they're really not. I mean, you look at even if it's a dollar, two dollars a pound, your meats are, you know, eight and 10 and 12 dollars a pound. So eat a little less meat and a few more vegetables, you're going to, um, again, feel more energized. Everything's going to move a little um, better without getting too descriptive, but it's going to keep all of your systems working that much better. Yeah, this is this is amazing. And it's a topic I think more entrepreneurs need to hear about because it is so important. And I, I'll tell you this. Here's what I'll say about the topic. If you think this is an act and that I'm I'm just have this energy on, on camera, go watch some other episodes. Go watch Go come hang out with me. I I've been eating clean for years, like I said, and I can't even tell you the amount of energy that you have because of it. And Dara said she likes to eat pizza every now and then. When I eat bad food, now I feel it 10 yeah. times worse. Yeah. So you'll start to see the cumulative effect of this and, and you'll start to think twice about what you eat. So jump on board, book a session down here, see how this can change your life. Um, so I, I want to get to where people can reach you in a second outside of this. I know you have some other things going on, uh, but I want to tie this to the harmonious architecture real quick. So I did say in the beginning, it's mind, body, business. We're spending a lot of time on mind and body here, but Let's point out the obvious, and I, I mentioned this in the beginning. We're talking about inspire. We're talking about leadership. If you don't have the capability to lead yourself, to eat clean, perform at a high level, how is a team ever going to follow you? If I see this so many times. If, if the leader of the organization is overweight, lazy, that transpires through the organization, and people see that you're, you're living a double life. If you're trying to lead a team and you can't lead yourself, you lead neither. So please consider this if you think it's at all going to help you in your life, because I promise you it will. And also in home, humans optimize in a meaningful environment, leadership. Obviously, you're leading people. Your team will start to pick up on this. You can change their lives, too. If you want to bring your whole company with you on this energy boost lifestyle, as you start to do this, your team's going to want to come on board and be like, what is that guy smoking at lunch? Because he is just killing it in the afternoon. No more mid-afternoon crashes and coffee cups. We're just got, we got energy for days. So Dara, this has been amazing. Thank you so much for coming. Um, you can book a session down here to find out more, um, but where else can people find you? Can we follow you on social media or anything? See what you're doing? 
Yes, absolutely. Dara Lee Simmons. I'm, you know, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. It's all Dara Lee Simmons. And you can find me there. That's awesome. All right. Well, thank you again for coming on. And just as one last reminder, if you want to sign up for our five day boot camp we got coming up, it's absolutely free. What if.com slash navigate? We're going to get you the rock solid foundation so you can skyrocket your business in 2024 and beyond. I would love to see you there. This has been a fantastic episode, and we will see you on the next one of Harmonious at Lunch. See you then. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.